one thing that's nice about staff adjusters, you get days off. IAs don't get any days off, which I don't see how people can do that. If you're running a three month <laughs> deployment, no days off. I know you have to build those in and enjoy some downtime, but still an IA life is pretty tough. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And guaranteed money. So basically a SAP adjuster, um, you don't make as much money, really. Um, so there's pros, and, there's pros and cons to being a SAP adjuster. I'm 50, so being a staff adjuster kind of appeals to me because at this point in my life, I want easy. And so when you are a staff adjuster, you basically have everything handed to you and taken care of for you. So you get a guaranteed paycheck. You, when you get deployed, your hotel's taken care of. You don't even have to book your hotel. They usually book your hotel in a pretty decent part of town. Um, if you're working property, you're going to be there a while. So they usually get you a hotel with a kitchenette. You get your hotel points. Um, <clears throat> they take care of your equipment, your computer, ladders, chalk, paper, printer, everything. And all you really have to do is just do the job. Now, they furnish you with the other thing, too, is they furnish you with a nice vehicle, usually with two monitors in the back with the desk set up. And it's super nice in those vehicles. Now, the flip side is... If you get home from a nine month, or let's say, usually those deployments aren't nine months, but let's say you get home from a four month deployment and they say, okay, we need you in Montana tomorrow. Well, you gotta go. You can't just sign a six month contract or a 60 day contract or a 30 day contract, fulfill that contract and then um, just hang out at home. You have to go whenever they call. So that's the downside. Um, the uh, the one thing that's nice about staff adjusters, you get days off. IAs don't get any days off, which I that I don't see how people can do that. If they're running a three-month deployment, <laughs> no days off. I know you have to build those in and enjoy some downtime. But still, um, an IA life is pretty tough. A uh, staff adjuster is pretty easy, but you don't make as much money. Gotcha. So basically, it really kind of comes down to if I could if, just kind of put my spin on it. Basically, with the staff side, you clock in and out, essentially. I mean, you're there, if, if you want to stay caught up, sometimes you kind of have to like sneak in and do some extra work, right? Right. Um, but you may be limited, right, in the number of claims that they'll let you do a day, right, and the number of days a week that you'll work. And the kind of roofs that you can climb, right? So if you're on a cat team at a carrier, they may say, hey, if it's 712 or above, there's no way you're getting on it. Don't even try. It's we're gonna we'll send two you know, two story steep team out or whatever. Um, you know, we're not you're not working on the weekends, you're not working on Sundays or whatever, and we're only gonna let you do three claims a day because we want to have our customer service and our quality and everything up here. Because the volume and this is where things kind of fall apart for IA is just, just generally speaking is that because we can do as many claims as we can do in a day, sometimes adjusters will try to do more than they really should be doing in a day. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.